welcome back to my channel. Thank you for checking in. I thought today we would talk about the most essential things to bring with you on the airplane so that you can be really comfortable when you're flying. I know I have a tendency, and I've said this before, and I bring everything with me because I like to have all my stuff with me just in case I need it. I wanted to make sure that I have it. So I thought... If I had to pare everything down for a long flight, what would be the bare minimum I would bring? And so I thought I would do a comparison with that. And I would love to know from you, like what would you bring? What would be your favorite things to bring if you were going to just bring a few things? Let's see, I would love to know what you would like to bring. I will tell you what's important to me. Okay, so the very first thing that would be the most important thing is the phone accessories, right? So I have two different holders for the phone. And you can see this one hooks up. This one hooks to the, um, so it can go any way you want it to, and it can hook onto the uh, tray table in front of you and you could watch your movie this way which is ergonomically more um, efficient because you could look straight ahead but what I have found the one that I would choose if I had to choose one is this flex flap so this flex flap can just move you could put it on your tray and you can watch your movie like this and I like this <laughs> It's very thin, it's very easy. I could use this not only on the airplane, I could use it in the hotel, I could just use it anywhere, I could bring it with me every time I go for a weekend trip. I just really like this, I think it's, and I could use it when I'm making my recipes from my phone. I mean, you could use this as a phone stand for anything. So, I choose this over this one, and this one is staying on my exercise bike upstairs so I could watch TV when I try to exercise and you know hopefully I'll do that more next year and so with the phone one of the also most important things for me is to have my phone holder now I'm I don't have my phone in here because I'm actually charging with it and this phone is a this phone is old but this has been so great the the times I've been on the airplane since I've purchased this Every time I go to the bathroom, I just put this around my neck and so I have my phone and I have a credit card and I have my driver's license in here. Not that I've ever worried about things getting stolen on the airplane, but I kind of feel a little bit better knowing that I take this with me wherever I go. So I really love this. And I will always have something like this with me, whether this one gets old and used, I'm just always gonna have something that's like this. I love it. And when you're traveling, you put this around, you know, like a, like a crossbody bag. And even if you have a backpack on your back, you have the, your camera and you can just pop the camera up and take your photos. I did that throughout everywhere that I went. And just recently when I was in Yosemite, I was able to whip out this camera, take photos, and it was really fun. So um, anyway, for sure, this. The other thing that I really like is this little case. It's a small little case and I can hook it, it doesn't take a lot of room, and I could hook it to this phone case, and that way I don't even need to bring my um, purse sometimes. So I think this is, um, this is a really good thing to bring. I would bring this if I went out and I didn't wanna have a lot of weight with me, but this was too small, so I really am gonna bring that. The other thing that I think is an essential is to have a really nice, comfortable eye mask because when you're traveling long distance, if you don't have an eye mask, you might not be able to sleep, and it's really important to get sleep. So you wanna make sure you bring an eye mask, very important. So chargers are very important as well because you need to, you can charge on the plane. So this is a European plug. I would bring this with me because I can plug it in and usually they have the European plug on the airplane. If not, I'd have a little, um, a little plug to put in there as well and my charger. And 
since I'm cutting back and we're just bringing the essentials, I would not bring um, a headset that plugged in because I would just use their headset because they usually give you a headset to watch the movies and that's fine with me. But I know a lot of people love their fancy headset, but I would bring my Bluetooth one and I love, I love this one because I watch movies on my phone and so that I could plug this in. So if I had to pick essentials, these would be these would be it. I would want to make sure that I could charge my phone and charge my Bluetooth if I have to on the plane. The other thing that is important to know, and I read this a while ago, and I think it's really great to point out here, is that when you're charging your phone, whether you're in an airport, an airplane, or at a coffee shop, you might want to always use a charging block that you plug your USB into and then plug it into the plug because um, there have been instances where some virus would go in through the, um, the USB plug if you plugged it directly into the uh, USB that they offer sometimes. That's never happened to me, but it's something to be aware of. I didn't know that that could happen, but that can happen. So if you have a little plug, it's best to, do, to use that. And since we are really talking about minimalist things, things that are really, really important, I wouldn't be comfortable without having my chapstick. And I really love this chapstick, the Naked Bee. It's great. I don't have any allergies to it, no reactions. It works really well. Um, and I love to have hand cream. <laughs> I hate having dry hands. So um, I was thinking as I was preparing for this video, like I don't want to bring the big, huge four ounce hand lotion. And then it dawned on me, I have these cute little silicone containers and I have this really amazing body butter that I purchased from this woman named Gabby who has, she makes her own product. She infuses her own herbs to make, to make the smells and it's amazing. If anyone's interested in wanting to get an amazing body butter, let me know. Anyway, I just filled up this container with the body butter. A little bit goes a long way and it's really nourishing. So this is what I will bring. I'll bring my Naked Bee, although she also has um, really great chapsticks that I bought. So I have, I have some for Christmas, um, but I still, I love this and I love hers. And then I have this and then a hand sanitizer, this On Guard hand sanitizer, because you still need to have some luxuries, but that's pretty minimal compared to how many things I usually bring. And the last thing, if I'm going to be super, super essential only is a little fanny pack. This is my waterproof fanny pack. I think it's really a great thing because I could wear it even without waterproof. I could just put my stuff in here, put this around my waist, and then I have my phone, I have my essentials, and I have my backpack, and I, I like to have things easy access. So these are the things that I would bring if I had to just bring the minimum. I'm curious to know what you think. I mean, what would you bring if you are just going to bring the minimum? minimum sorry there are so many people who are very minimalist and they bring very little on the plane with them i happen to bring a little bit more but i think i'm going to step into being more minimalist and see how that works right we're all here growing and um, figuring out what's going to be the best for us so i'm going to try that I have a lot of trips planned next year and we'll see how that goes. So anyway, have a really great day. Thank you so much for watching and please like and subscribe and let me know what you think and have a really great day. Ciao for now.